everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with a video on how I get things for free. I know I have a lot of friends that are always like, how do you get all these things coming in the mail and get them for free? So this video is gonna tell you how I get things for free. And also for those who are not subscribing, don't forget to hit the button down there. I, as you guys know, I say this in every video, I'm really trying to grow my channel and I would like to make new friends and this will help you stay up to date with all my newest videos. And I do sound a little uh, just because I am sick right now, but I still want to get some content out for you. I'm just really stuffy, but I still feel like good. So that kind of sucks, but we're just gonna jump right in. So what I'm gonna share, to, to share with you today is the new Influencer Biore box. For those who don't know what Insta Influencer is, is it is a free online website. Um, you fill out little surveys and they do have different campaigns and you can be selected to get a free box. They've given out things like Keurigs, which I didn't get. Um, the Laneige products I did do and I'll link that video down below. Um, I also did way back when, it was like my very first video, um, I got a Garnier box as well for the damage eraser and that was really awesome too. So I definitely recommend signing up for Influencer. Like you have nothing to lose, it's free to sign up. And I'll also put my referral link down below. I don't get paid or anything for it, it just helps me get more points, which maybe might make me get more products, which I can share with you guys. So I'm just gonna jump right in. So this is the new Biore baking soda free your pores box and I've never tried any kind of baking soda products on my skin. Um, I've been kind of using the Laneige stuff and the Garnier water like I've been talking about um, but I was really interested that I got selected for this because way back when I did try the Biore charcoal products and I loved them. They were like my holy grails for a bit. Um, so I was really happy to try the baking soda products out. So they did send me two products. They sent me the Biore Free Your Pores Baking Soda Pore Cleanser. And they also did send me the Biore Baking Soda Cleansing Scrub. So I have only tried these once. Um, and I think for me, once was enough for one of the products. So I really did like this. It was not a bad cleanser. I found it cut, it did take my makeup off pretty well. And um, it didn't do anything to my skin like in terms of reacting. Uh, they do recommend this for combination skin, which is what I have. I find I get a little bit of, I get a little bit dry, some of my skin's normal, and then I do get a little bit greasy in my T-zone, or oily I should say. Um, so I was hoping this product would be ideal too. So it penetrates pores and gently exfoliates. Um, so they said it deep cleans to remove dirt and impurities from the pore while gently exfoliating away dead cells to, re to reveal smooth, healthy looking skin. And it is hypoallergenic and dermatologist tested. Um, I didn't find like my skin felt really soft and fresh after using it. I thought it was just, it was an okay cleanser. It wasn't the best cleanser I've used, but it wasn't bad. Um, it is a drugstore product. It kind of was on the level with all the other drugstore products. I do admit I don't like it as much as the charcoal one. That one I would repurchase, this one I won't. Um, but it, it's not too bad. Like it's, I don't know, it didn't work for my skin that well, but um, it was okay. So now we're just gonna move on to the baking soda cleansing scrub. So you use this with water to activate for a gentle exfoliation. So this was actually really cool. I've never tried a powder scrub before. So basically all you do is, as you can see, it's like, ooh, it's powdery. So you just put a little bit of powder in your hand and then with, and then, um, or actually you wet your face first. You put a little bit of product into your hand. You add a tiny bit of water and then you massage it in. Um, what I found with this, and then you rinse. As soon as I put this on my face, my face was burning and I've only had that happen once with one other skincare product and that was when I went to an Arbonne party. That made my skin burn so bad and this I'm like it was just it hurt really bad and then after I got all the product off I had big red patches all over my face which soreness and redness is not something I like at all 
and it also terrifies me like I think it might have been too harsh for my skin so I don't think I'll be using this I might try it one more time just to see kind of how it works or if it was like a one-time thing um, but yeah as of right now I'm kind of scared to use this again because it was just like right here 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 um, and I didn't find like I guess my skin was a little bit soft the next day but it was just it was like a severe burning sensation and um, I did notice the next day too my makeup did go on really well um, but I don't know like if it was any different than before but I did notice my complexion did look a little bit nice um, so that maybe had something to do with it but if you have really sensitive skin I'm not gonna recommend this at all because I am not the type of person that I have to test anything for my face I have like sensitive skin on my body but on my face like any product works for me except this and Arbonne. So these are the two products that I did get in the box and let me know what you guys think. Have you guys tried these products or you know what do you think about them? They are kind of drugstore priced but um, yeah these aren't two products that I'm going to repurchase. I was a little disappointed. I have seen some people really have enjoyed these products but not me. So I hope you guys found this video informative and give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy. And once again, don't forget to subscribe. So I thank you so much for your love and support and I hope you have a great day.